Hi everyone, this is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do a timeless love reading for singles who's coming towards you. So like I said, this will be timeless, so it'll be for whenever you see this, tell whenever, sort of like a bonus reading. So if your monthly uh, singles who's coming towards you didn't resonate with you, maybe this will. So this is intended for everybody, timeless, so we're going to see what we get here. I do have the um, Zodiac Oracle here, so just going to pull them as they come. No particular order. And I will timestamp after the premiere. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, so let's see what we have. And I don't like the way uh, that is. Okay, well, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so let's see what we have for singles. Libra's up first. Libra, okay. Let's see what we have for Libra. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here, supporting the channel, in whichever way you support the channel, new, returning, welcome, thank you. You can check the description box below for any information you need, personal reading information, tons of stuff down there. And Super Chat is open if anyone would like to support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated if you do, thank you. So let's see what we have for Libra. Let's get one card here for Libra, possible incoming person. And we have the Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. So this is water, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So we have somebody here who uh, takes action. So someone loving, caring, nurturing, giving, that water energy. Um, so somebody here who uh, could be flirtatious and romantic. They could have a lot of feelings, be emotional kind of energy. All right, so, and you could meet them, you could have just met them this past summer, or you may meet them uh, in the summertime. Doesn't mean you won't date other people till then, but um, I feel like you could be outside, you know, some kind of summer activity. Let's see, we got the Six of Wands. So it's a very, um, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, ooh. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups energy. So oh, this <laughs> this person may be somebody who flirts with everybody, and they're very charming. Um, but we do have somebody could be very successful here. We do have Leo Sag Aries. We have your energy here with Libra Gemini Aquarius, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles, with Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We have more water at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting here... Um, this could be someone very successful, could be in the limelight, could be a public figure, could be just a very successful business, business owner that's somebody maybe in your neighborhood, wherever you live, like everybody knows this person. Uh, but there's a, some blocked energy here with the Eight of Swords. So either you're going to be blocked off to them, you know, they may come forward to you and uh, you may be blocked off to them for some reason. Because I do see a stable offer here coming in uh, with the Knight of Pentacles energy. So I feel like somebody's going to be blocked off, and it may be you for some reason. So maybe you're not, not just interested in them, because we do have the Five of Cups energy here of sadness, sorrow, loss kind of energy. So you may turn your back on them, and then they may feel sad over that. Um, I see somebody wants success here, but somebody's blocked off. Somebody is going to come forward with a stable offer. But somebody may turn their back. So it could be you, them, however that resonates for you. Oh, boy. Libra, well, <laughs> that was your incoming person. Wow, okay. Maybe you think they're a player or something like that, and you're just not interested. All right, so let's see who's next. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Check the description for all the information you need. If you'd like a personal reading, tons of stuff down there. Thank you everyone for the support. Please like the video. Please give it a thumbs up. You greatly appreciate it. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Oh, we have the High Priestess here. So the High Priestess is um, Cancer or Pisces. So <laughs> this is somebody very intuitive who was very connected to divine source, um, who trusts their intuition, um, says trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come along through meditation. So somebody who's very, very um, spiritual, 
connected to source. Uh, they follow, they, you know, they definitely divinely connected here. They could be a spare, you know, someone in the spiritual field um, or something like that. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's get some tarot. Sagittarius. Who is this incoming person? We have, um, so this is water energy, Cancer and Pisces is water energy, and that's summer. So it could be someone you just met over the summer or someone you may meet next summer. All right, so let's see, one, two, and three. Wow, so, okay, somebody uh, here with the Four of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the lovers here, which is Gemini, so definitely soulmate energy here. And we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. So I do feel like here, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, the Ten of Cups, more water energy. So total fulfillment, happiness, joy in every single way. So this person either knows coming into you or you know this is your Ten of Cups person. This is your soulmate. Lovers here, it's a soulmate energy. Somebody has a lot of feelings and emotions here with the King of Cups. So there will be feelings and emotions, but somebody... Maybe a little uh, timid at first here, may not um, connect at first. They may need time here to think about this. Um, or they just recovered or recuperated from something. But, I mean, King of Cups and the Lovers and the Ten of Cups, a lot of love and emotions and fulfillment. Soulmate energy here in every single way. But somebody may need time to reflect on this before uh, taking action either you or them, but definitely love and soulmate energy here. Wow. Somebody in this connection knows that this is their person, whether it's you or them. All right. Sagittarius. Okay. So let's see who's next. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what we have for Gemini. I feel like Sagittarius, somebody will be hesitant. But if they can get over that, uh, soulmate union there, fulfillment in every single way. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini. Incoming person for Gemini. Unity. So we have Taurus here. And this is the Hierophant energy. So you can meet this person, um, I don't know, at church. You can meet them at some kind of spiritual gathering, spiritual community, or something like that. So, and this is all about marriage, commitment. Uh, morals, values. So somebody here uh, you could meet somewhere. I I'm feeling like um, if it's not church, some sort of spiritual group or something like that. Right, I feel like, oh, the chariot. That just fell right in my lap. So we got Cancer. We got Taurus, Cancer. We have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Hierophant again. Wow. And then we have the King of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus again. Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So heavy water sign here, heavy uh, Cancer energy. Um, but yes, yeah, some <laughs> love and emotions again. And look at under that, the lovers again. So soulmate in the Ten of Cups. So heavy soulmate energy here, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, lover energy, moving forward very quickly, maybe even into commitment, but somebody may have to walk away from something first before this can happen, or somebody may walk away for a time before they can come back to move forward, um, or you're walking right into love here and a commitment, this incoming person. Um, I do see Taurus, so... Um, you could have met this person during Taurus season, which is the end of April into May. And, and May is the fifth month of the year. So if you haven't met this person, you may meet them like during Taurus season. They may actually be a Taurus or a Cancer or a water sign. So heavy water energy here. So I do see soulmate. I see love, emotions, fulfillment. Could be commitment, may move forward very, very uh, quickly here, Gemini. Wow. But the Eight of Cups there, somebody 
like I said, either may have to walk away from something first, whether it's you or them, before you can commit into this. And I don't see any third party here, so um, it could be anything. Or, you know, people have already walked away from things no longer serving, and now it's like all of a sudden just walking right into something else here that is like your soulmate. That's a nice energy, Gemini. So if you go to church, if you go to spiritual gatherings of some kind, pay att attention to people around you, new people around you. All right, let's see who's next. Virgo. Virgo. Let's see what we have for Virgo. Incoming new person for Virgo. Singles. Thank you, everyone, for being here. If we just hit the like button. Like, share. If you like my energy, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified. I do four readings a month, and they're all different. So you don't miss out if you do thank you. You can check out my channel if you like to. See what you like. All right. Virgo. Super chat's open. If anybody would like to support me in the channel, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you do thank you. Oh, we have the Queen of Autumn. So we have um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. And this is your energy. But you may be meeting a fellow uh, earth sign here. Someone who's generous, generous, stylish, gracious, practical can be male or female here. Somebody who could own their own business. They could be a high-ranking boss. They could be an entrepreneur. Uh, they could be in the financial field, very successful. They make their coin. They're independent. Um, very savvy, like business-like energy. Hmm. Okay, so let's get some tower. So you may meet them uh, now during autumn we are in autumn right now so let's see if you have not met them already if this is somebody totally new they actually could be an earth sign and you could meet them um during autumn you got about a month left of autumn that's way too many we'll take this one wanted to stay oh the eight of wands so we have leo sag aries this is uh, communication it could be online face to face traveling very fiery passionate communication the knight of wands a lot of fire now so if they're not an earth sign then they definitely could be a fire sign we'll take the top one the two of swords so bottom of the deck we have the emperor so that's aries energy and with the queen of pentacles this definitely could be somebody who's very very successful in some way uh very successful. They could be a boss. They could own their own business. Um, a lot of fire here. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Two of Swords, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the Two of Swords is kind of like indecisive energy. So that could be you or them. But somebody's going to take action and move forward here very quickly. A lot of fiery, passionate action communication coming in. Night energy, be careful. Um, they may be like very stable, like business owner successful in that sense, but the Knight of Wands sometimes can be a player. So they could be a player, you know, coming in and talking all the sweet stuff and a lot of fiery, passionate energy, but that may, you know, put you in that energy of being indecisive, like, mm, I don't know here, but yeah, Queen of Cups, so we got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces under that, so and the king of wands so definitely a lot of fire energy here so there could be fire water the, the queen i mean that could be your energy but we do have fire water air here aries so yeah so i feel like somebody's going to have feelings and maybe the other one just wants to have a good time and it'll lead to some indecisiveness here so uh, i would say take your time and it's up to you. If you feel like they're a player, then you may just cut them off. Or if you're in for a good time, maybe it'll lead to more. Because we do have the Queen of Cups here, which is about love, feelings, emotions. So could lead to more. Could start off as something fun and lead to more. But ultimately, it's going to be either up to you or them. However, the energies are here for you uh, if you want to continue and see where it goes. But, you know, all about stability here, too. So... Could be your energy, their energy, or they're just a very successful uh, person. So let's see who's next. Aquarius. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. Incoming person singles for Aquarius. Let's see what we have. This is, I am uh, considering this a timeless reading. So this is sort of like a bonus reading I'm doing for all the signs now, and I do consider them 
I'm not dating them, so they will be timeless. So whenever you see this. So what do we have for Aquarius? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. Ooh, the Empress. So Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here. So you could be meeting somebody, um, this Libra Taurus energy. Could be in the month of March. Um, even though Taurus season is the end of April into May, and then Virgo, uh, Libra is the end of September into October, but um, they could be that could be the signs, but you could meet them in March if you have not met them already. And definitely could be a very successful business owner. Are we getting that? That's been coming out a lot. Um, someone who takes action, um, very creative, they're successful. They love to live life. They may love to be luxurious also. They like all the finer things, comforts of life. I guess it could be male or female. So let's see. I'm getting like a very lavish like business owner. Like maybe they own a very expensive store or something. Maybe you just go in there browsing, shopping, and meet this person. They could be the owner. They could be the uh, manager or something like that see what we have here. Wow, the star, the chart energy, the knight of wands again, and now the page of wands. So bottom of the deck, we got the two of swords again. That's your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I've been shuffling these, so I'm getting a lot of repeating cards here. So, you know, the star, your energy, Aquarius. And then we have fire here with Leo, Sag, Aries. And the swords again is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And what's under that? The Page of Swords, your energy. Again, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius. So, again, the Two of Swords, indecisiveness. Someone's going to be indecisive. Somebody is going to have uh, need to have um, very open, honest, truthful communication here, telling it like it is, standing up for themselves, or it's you or them. It could be you. Um, again, the pa it's a page and a knight. So, again, they're not coming out as a king. Again, could kind of be like this player energy. But this is good news coming in. So, you know, they may say, hey, let's get together. Again, they may just want to have fun kind of uh, energy here. But, uh, but you know, the star is all about faith, hope, optimism, healing energy, something divinely guided. So this could be, you know, a divinely guided connection. and may start off, you know, as very fiery, passionate, just kind of a fun time. But ultimately, you know, if you want more than that, you know, you're going to need to have strength here to tame your beast from within. Um, now we have Leo, and uh, you may have to put up a guard against this person, more fire energy. If you feel like, you know, they're just a player, they just want to have fun, it's not going anywhere, then you may need to decide here, do I take the sword and cut them, or do I tell them the truth, you know, how I feel. Maybe I have, you, you may get strong feelings for them, have to stand your guard. And, you know, the magician here is about manifesting new things. But then we have the Eight of Cups about walking away. So you may end up walking away from this person if you feel like they don't want to, um, I don't want to say commit, but want something more. They may just want to have fun kind of energy. And that may lead you, this, lead you here to this healing kind of energy. So ultimately, it's going to be up to you because we did have the Two of Swords there about making a decision. Okay, do I just want to have fun or... Do I want something more? And you may have to take that sword, cut this person out if you feel like they're just a player. Oh boy, Chorus. So let's see who's next. Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. This incoming person for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio singles? Who's coming towards you? Thank you everybody for being here. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, you like my style, if I resonate, please do like, share, subscribe, and all that great stuff. You can check out my channel. I do all kind of readings. If you like what you see, you can subscribe. I thank you, everybody, for your support. Super Chat's open if you'd like to donate to support the channel. Greatly appreciated. So let's see what's coming in for Scorpio. Feeling this one. Ooh, the Ace of Winter. Something this winter. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius this is a brand new beginning. So, <laughs> it 
and we have the lion there, the tiger, which kind of reminds me of Leo. So it could be a Leo or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be this winter. And this is a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, seeing things clearly, open, honest, truthful communication. Um, you know, this could be somebody who's just started like their own legal business of some kind. Um, since the start energy is all about the mind and that kind of energy. So it could be somebody who's just, just opened their own sort of uh, legal business or um, something like that, or like a professional uh, business advisor or something of that nature. So let's see. I mean, it could be a lawyer. It could be anything. So let's see. Not pentacles, I don't want to say financial advisor, but maybe somebody who just offers professional help in some way. Um, could be a counselor, a therapist, or something like that. All right, so let's see for Scorpio. Oh, the Page of Swords, a lot of repeating cards. The Emperor and the Ten of Cups and the King of Swords at the bottom. So definitely heavy air sign here. Um, and the Hierophant. Wow. So injustice. So I had said that I felt like <laughs> they may work in the law field of some kind. Here's justice. So they could be a lawyer. They could be a judge. They could be something here where they work in the law field. Um, or somebody who was just very, um, they have a lot of high morals and values. They could work in the religious field also. Something with structure here. With, so we got Taurus. We got Libra, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, and then we have Six of Cups under here. So this is definitely soulmate energy. Somebody you, maybe you've known in your chi from childhood and you haven't seen them in a very long time. If it's somebody you already know, somebody new, you could have had past lives with this person, but heavy, heavy soulmate energy here. And this could be your lifelong partner as you see the uh, older couple in the background. Somebody I feel very smart, works in the justice field or something, or, um, law services of some kind um, or in the religious field or spiritual field of some kind because the king of swords can be like a judge a lawyer or you know in the law enforcement of some kind so yeah so very uh heavy air energy here so we do have the page of swords again air sign emperor aries and we got the ten of cups which is cancer scorpio pisces so this is going to be a whole brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. You know, very open, honest, clear communication here with the uh, Page of Swords. Emperor, some again, somebody I feel, they could be a judge. I mean, you see this person, uh, Emperor, sitting in their throne. Like I said, they could be a judge here. Somebody or somebody just opened their own um, legal services or something like that, law services. But I do see the Ten of Cups here. Total fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way. With this person based on truth, clarity, and a brand new beginning here. It definitely could be heavy soulmate energy. Could lead to commitment in the future. Maybe even marriage. Very balanced uh, energy. Finally getting justice. Soulmate energy. So, wow. <laughs> Scorpio, that's some good energy coming in. Could be this winter. Could be meeting somebody this winter. Wow. All right. Let's see who's next. And we have Taurus. Taurus. Let's see who's coming in for Taurus singles. Taurus singles, who's coming towards you? Welcome in, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Please do like and share the video. We greatly appreciate it. Check out my channel. Like what you see. You can subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post all the new readings so you don't miss out. Thank you, everyone, for all your support. If you would like to support me in the channel, Super Chat is open, so please feel free. Oh, that's way too many. I've got like three here. I just want one for Taurus. There we go. So we have the Princess of Summer. Gentle, sensitive, kind, and experienced. So this could be somebody younger than you. It says a new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events. A compassionate friend who can share your concerns with. So, I mean, we can get energies of uh, people maybe you already know. So this could be somebody you already know, somebody who could be younger. A water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, 
So it's a new emotional experience. So you could experience something new with this person that leads to new emotions and feelings. Or you could be invited. They can invite you out to an event or something like that. Could be, could have happened over the summer or it could happen this summer. Um, and I feel like it may be a friendship here that may bloom into something more. Mm, okay. I feel like blooming in the summertime is what I'm getting for you, Taurus. All right, so let's see you. Who this incoming person is for Taurus. Let's see. It could be somebody. Um, they're younger than you. Maybe they're starting something new in life. Like maybe they're changing careers or something like that. All right. So let's see, Taurus. Who is this incoming person? Coming Taurus. King of Cups. Hang me in and judgment. And now we have the Five of Cups. So the Eight of Wands, wow, and the Ace of Cups underneath. So I feel like here in Temperance and the Star, wow, Six of Wands, Success and Victory, Ten of Cups, holy crap. Yeah, the Emperor, they could have started something new in their life here. Maybe they changed their career and now they're their own boss. Aries energy here, their own boss. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Success and Victory, Leo Sag Aries. An offer coming in. Something divinely guided here with the star, Aquarius, um, Faith, Hope, Optimism, Healing Energy. <laughs> and look at this, we got Temperus again with the Healing and Balancing Energy and Patient Energy, Sagittarius. Brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups, Emotions, Feelings, Overflowing, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, we have all the signs here. But we have the Five of Cups energy. I feel like this could be somebody that you've known. Um, and maybe somebody walked away here and left the other person sad for a time. But now it's like the judgment here, Scorpio, making a judgment to resurrect this. There's been a pause. There's been a break with Pisces here in this for a while. People are sad. They're not together. Now passionate communication coming in, emails, texts. Phone calls, meeting face to face, traveling to see one another. Very passionate energy here. Like rapid, fast, like all of a sudden incoming out of nowhere. Somebody here decided to apologize, ask for forgiveness, resurrect the situation. Uh, the soulmate energy. This is bringing the soulmates back together. So does the temperance angel here. Um, brings the soulmates back together because they are divinely guided. So somebody is going to make that offer to say, I want the Ten of Cups with you. Taking the lead and taking charge with the Emperor energy. And passionate communication, no longer wanting to feel sad and lonely and uh, sorrow over this. They want this brand new beginning of love with you. Wow, Taurus. Because we do have, you know, like I said, hey man, on pause, on a break here for a while, separated for a while, now resurrecting, forgiveness. Apologies, coming back together, making that final judgment call. Because somebody is all up in their emotions here with the King of Cups, totally in love and feelings and wanting to express that. Usually the King of Cups don't, doesn't really, but now, maybe they haven't in the past. Now they want to tell you how they truly feel. Wow. <laughs> Fire, passion, love, soulmate energy. Wow. Yep. So this could happen over the summertime. Uh, or yeah, it could happen over the summertime I'm feeling spring or summer yep so if there's been a pause a break uh, I see things changing summer spring to summertime wow Taurus okay let's see who's next Pisces let's see what we have for Pisces singles who's coming towards Pisces this is a timeless reading, so whenever you see this, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Who do we have for Pisces singles coming in? Who's coming towards you? Thank you, everyone, for being here, supporting the channel. Please give a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Check the description box. Tons of stuff there. Check out my channel if you're new. You like what you see. Please do subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss out. Super chat is open. If you'd like to support me in the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. So let's see what we have for Pisces. Oh, the Ten of Summer, water energy again. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So it could be a fellow water sign coming in. Doesn't have to be. So this is an emotional 
emotionally fulfilling life and family or friends, raising children wisely, people you could trust. So this is a very ten of summer, ten of cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So this could happen over the summer. They could be a fellow water sign. So we'll see here. We'll see here. And they could be somebody could be a musician here because somebody is playing a guitar. So somebody could sing or be, be a musician or they write or something like that. See something, uh, activity around water. They may take you on a, uh, was it a gondola ride here also? At nighttime, like at dusk, the sun is setting. Very romantic energy. All right, so let's see who is this incoming person coming into Pisces. Coming into Pisces. Pisces. Let's get some tarot on this for Pisces, incoming person for Pisces. Eight of Wands. Five, well, a lot of repeating cards. And the Magician, uh, Ten of Cups again. So, <laughs> in the Sun. So, and there's your energy with the Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. Wow. So, a lot of repeating cards here. Your energy with the Queen of Cups, Water Sign, Kids, Scorpio, Pisces, Water again. Could be someone you've uh, known since childhood um, or somebody you've had past lives with. Soulmate energy here. Sun, ha everything happy and joyous with the sun, success, fulfillment, children, happy home family, everything here. Somebody could be a um, entrepreneur here or they run their own business or they're self-employed. Aries energy here, but Ten of Cups again, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Wow. So we do have a passionate communication again, and it could have been a period again here of um, people maybe separated for a while, if you already know this person, feeling sad and lonely over the separation, and now manifesting a brand new beginning here with the magician energy, which is Gemini and Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries, and your sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there's been a separation here I see manifesting a brand new beginning with this person. Someone will communicate, whether it's you or them, very fiery, passionate uh, communication. I don't want to be sad and lonely without you anymore. Can we manifest this brand new beginning so we can have the Ten of Cups together? Energy here, which will lead to happy home and family and joy and Leo energy here in every single way. Aries, water, fire. So we have like all the signs here, but wow. <laughs> I see this is your Ten of Cups person. If you've been separated, I see it coming back together. Communication and happiness and joy and success in every single way. Wow, Pisces. Okay. Let's see who is next. Leo. We have Leo now. Let's see who's coming in towards Leo. Singles. Who's coming in for Leo? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please check out my channel. If you like what you see, please do like, share, subscribe. All that great stuff would be greatly appreciated. Check the description box for every all information you need, personal readings, tons of stuff down there. Please like the video. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to support or donate to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Super chat is open if you do. Thank you. So let's see who's coming into Leo. The Ace of Autumn. Wow, this is a stable new beginning. It could happen now. We are in autumn right now. It's a brand new beginning. It could be with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others. A very successful project. A happy change in your career. But it's also about prosperity, stability, growth, and abundance. So this is who's coming in. So someone coming in who is very, they could be in the, um, they could be in finances. They could be, you know, very, very good with, Finances, so there could be somebody in the financial field in some way, um, very practical, very smart. Um, they take their time. They're about slow growth, slow, you know, making sure they make all the right decisions and choices moving forward. The uh, autumn pentacle energy is very slow moving energy, so that they believe on building on a firm foundation moving forward uh, to stability and growth for the long term. Pentacles are long term, so this could be a long term partner. Could it start this uh autumn like now and you see all the uh books here so somebody um and she's holding the coins so somebody very smart with finances they could be virgo taurus capricorn but they don't have to be so let's see what other signs we get here you could reach out 
uh, maybe you're starting your own business and you're reaching out for financial help, financial advi um, advisor or something like that. And that could be how you meet this person. All right. So what do we have for Leo? Who is this incoming person coming into Leo? We have the two of wands. Ooh, we have the ten of swords. We have the five of pentacle energy. Oh, boy. But then we have the queen of pentacle energy here. Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles again, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Wow, I could keep going here. Six of Swords, things going in a better direction. So, oh, wow. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Fire Energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. So I do see, we got two sixes here of things going in a better direction, being balanced. Stable energy again with the queen of pentacles, someone who, again, who can be very good with finances. They make their coin. They're very smart, practical, analytical. They make wise decisions. They're very cautious. And we do have um, communication here, love offer coming in of some kind. Be careful though of third parties because I do see three people here. Um, but, you know, this is communication about love. But this is truth and clarity. Brand new, we got two brand new beginnings here. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So, again, a stable new beginning based on truth, clarity. Open, honest communication. And here's the communication with the Eight of Wands. Could be fire sign. I see a lot of fire on the sword. So it could be fire, Leo Sag Aries, but very passionate, fiery communication here. So... So we do have here now the two of wands. So this is about making plans, decisions for the future, fire energy. But there's an ending here, painful, hurtful ending with the ten of swords, something that somebody may have walked away here from something that was painful that have just ended, whether it's you or them. Five of pentacles about, you know, abandoned, left out in the cold energy. Um, but somebody left something, could be leaving something, if you know this person, coming towards you, leaving this ending here making decisions and plans for the future could be towards you to have a stable new beginning and coming forward and confessing um, how they feel with the page of cups there and wanting stability, slow growth and movement, wanting balance, wanting to go in a more healing, balancing place, being very up, op, op, uh, open, honest, and upfront, a lot of clarity. Again, here's a long-term stability card here and that fiery, passionate communication. So could be somebody coming in who just had to end something and go through something and walk away from something. Now making plans and decisions to come in towards you for the stable new beginning. And I do see truth, clarity, um, balance, and there is love and there's passion. It's all here. It's all here. Passion, stability, uh, love, and truth and clarity. So I think somebody finally saw, saw what they really had to do here and walk away from something that was no longer serving them making those fiery plans and decisions to come forward to somebody they know can be more stable, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, uh, loving, passionate energy. Wow, Leo, it's nice. Uh, look at that. <laughs> it's spirit just saw, showed me here, stayed on the table, temperance, which is Sagittarius and the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. We had just had three aces there, Leo. You could have a Sagittarius coming in that now offering this brand new beginning in love, no longer wanting to hide their feelings. Wow. Wow, Leo. All right. Let's see who's next. Aries. Aries. Let's see what's coming in for Aries. Aries singles. Who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards Aries? Thank you, everyone, for being here. My cards will shuffle. Wow. <laughs> Aries. Thank you for being here. Please like the video. Share. If you like what you see, subscribe, or you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Give a thumbs up. Be greatly appreciated to the video. <clears throat> you can check out the description box. Tons of stuff there if you would like a personal reading. And Super Chat's open if anyone would like to support or donate to the channel. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Wow. So we have Taurus here with Unity. And we have five, so you could, um, May, is that May? Yeah, so you could meet this person in May. 
or you have already met them and maybe you're not committed yet. This could be committed in May, but this is the Hierophant. So this is all about um, commitment, marriage, faith, hope, optimism, spirituality, doing what's moral, just, and right. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually minded community. So this is Taurus. This is commitment in some way. <clears throat> so we'll see what's going on with you, Aries. Who is this person? So you could meet them in May. They could be Taurus. This could lead to commitment down the road or marriage down the road. All right, someone who's very uh, moral. They have a lot of high values. They could be very spiritual. All right, let's see. Let's see Aries. Let's see the new Aries, this incoming person for Aries. Temperance, so the Sagittarius, the Fool, which is Aquarius. Two major arcana and the Two of Cups. In the two of pentacles so so i feel like here uh needing to make decisions needing uh, to you know juggling things around needing to balance because temperance is about balance sagittarius energy the fool is aquarius and we have the two of cups cancer scorpio pisces so we have a lot of signs here so i do see soulmate union here so this could be a potential soulmate two people coming into union unity Soulmate union. Taking that leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine. This could be something totally new, resetting at zero. And having taking that leap of faith with someone that you feel a strong connection with, you know, could juggle around, you know, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But this is balancing out energies, time, patience, healing energy, balancing out energies here. And this is the angel that brings these soulmates together. So I do feel like um, this could come, this could happen, like you could meet them in um, May and it could <laughs> be committed like by the summertime or even by uh, Sagittarius season, which is, we're in Sagittarius season now. So if you just met this person earlier this year, I see this could be committed um, coming up soon here. People juggling around, you know, somebody may have been defensive for a while here. There's that fire energy again. But strength here, Leo, very, very strong bond here between the two of you. Very strong bond. Seeing things clearly now with the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So someone rushing in here with love, emotions, and feelings with the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. To the Ten of Pentacles, one growth, long term. This could be marriage, again, <laughs> world whole new cycle with this person that could lead to marriage again with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups energy. And there's the Knight of Pentacles coming in with the offer. 4-1, so marriage. So I see this going to commitment, marriage, long-term, stable partner here. Uh, total happiness and joy. Someone coming forward with love, emotions. They see clearly now. They see how much of a strong bond this is. Getting over the defensive energy here. Balancing out their energy and knowing this is my soulmate. I'm ready to take a leap of faith. I've balanced. I've healed. I've had patience. And now I'm ready to leap in. Wow. Coming together in unity, Aries. Wow. Wow, Aries. <laughs> we had basically all the signs there. So they could be anybody. So whoever you have in mind. Or if you haven't met anybody yet. Um, <laughs> that's what I see coming in. All right. So let's see who's next. Capricorn. Capricorn singles, who's coming towards you? Capricorn, let's see what's coming in for Capricorn. Capricorn singles, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for checking out the channel. If you like what you see, please do like, share, subscribe. All that great stuff. You can check the description box below. Personal reading information, tons of stuff down there. Thank you to everybody for your support. Please like the video. If you'd like to support me in the channel, Super Chat is open. If you do, thank you so much. So let's see who's coming in for Capricorn. Ooh, the Queen of Spring. Fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. Somebody who's very creative, brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly. Somebody who's very passionate, is a go-getter, goes after what they want. Could, they could be very creative. They could be entrepreneurship kind of energy. They could just do their own thing, um, something out of the ordinary. 
They're not afraid to spread their wings and take flight and go after what they want here. Wow, they believe in themselves. They're very maintained. They're balanced. Very fiery, passionate energy there. Leo Sagittarius. And you could meet them springtime. Or if it's somebody you already know, you could have met them in the springtime. All right. So let's see. I'm getting like a very free, independent, fiery, go-getter kind of energy. They do their own thing. They're very creative. I mean, it's a queen, so they're very... Uh, it's not a knight or a page, so they're very, very much stable in their energy. All right, so let, they could be an artist. They could be um, or something like that. All right, so let's see who this person is coming into Capricorn. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. There's that fire energy, Leo. That is Sagittarius. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And the Page of Wands, good news coming in. That's that Leo Sag Aries. And now we have the Fool again on the bottom, Aquarius. Taking a leap of faith. King of Cups, so Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Definitely will be um, uh, feelings and emotions here. The World, whole new cycle. Start of new things. Brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. Wow. So we do have, somebody could have ended something painful, whether it was you or them. It's Libra Gemini Aquarius. But now somebody's single, they're ready for wish fulfillment. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Nine of Cups. Ten of Swords, they could have ended something, but now they're ready for a whole new world, a whole new change, a whole new cycle in love. Brand new beginning, divinely guided in love here. Ace of Cups energy, lots of feelings, emotions overflowing. And somebody ready to take a leap of faith here. They know how they feel about somebody. So now, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Aquarius, ready to take that leap of faith because they know how they feel about this person. So we do have faith. So this could be a faded meeting here um, in the springtime. It could be a Sagittarius, um, something destined, wheel of fortune, fate, divine timing, things going in a better direction. You may not see this coming because you see this monkey's blindfolded. So this could be something you don't see coming. Maybe you're in a very confused state right now. And you're like, you know, maybe you've ended something painful and you're like, you know, when am I going to, and it could have been like a long time ago because we do have the world there. That can also be about traveling, uh, traveling the world or something like that. But it's also about cycles ending, new cycles beginning. So somebody could have ended something here, has been single a very long time and I'm like, okay, when am I going to meet my new person? You know, maybe feeling very confused and daydreamy kind of energy, like. You know, things look kind of foggy. I just don't know. I just don't see anything coming in. And then all of a sudden, boom, here's some fiery, passionate communication. Good news coming in. Um, it could be that maybe you go to like an art gallery or um, something or a museum or something like that. And that's how you meet this person. I feel like they could be an artist or something in that field, like something different. And you don't see it coming, and all of a sudden, boom, you run into this person, and you just, like, strike up a conversation here with this person. And it's like an instant connection. If it's not somebody you already know, it's like, okay, I want to take a leap of faith with this person. I I felt a connection here. And there, you know, there is could be love there, bring the beginning in love. You know, seven of pentacles, you've been waiting a very long time. You know, single for a very long time. You are them, and I'm ready for... This could be possible to inflame soulmate energy. I'm ready to commit now to somebody who is fiery, passionate, loyal, loving, caring, nurturing, giving. I've waited a long time. I want my wish fulfillment. You are them. And here it comes. Here it comes. Whole new cycle in life after this ending. However, the energies resonate for you. New cycle in life. Love. Jumping in. Here. Wow. No more confusion. I think they will communicate here very passionately. And this wheel will turn things going in a better direction. Wow. Fiery, passionate, loving energy. Wow. So this isn't someone you knew. Could be new energy coming in in the springtime. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see who's next. We have one sign left. And we have Cancer. Cancer is last. Okay, Cancer. So let's make it a good one for Cancer. Who's coming into Cancer Singles? Who's coming towards you? Thank you everyone for being here, <clears throat> supporting the channel. My subscribers, new people, thank you, thank you, and welcome. Let's see what's going on for Cancer Singles. Who's coming towards you? 
please give a thumbs up if you like what you see. Check out my channel if you like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe. I do a variety of readings, four different readings for every sign, so don't miss out. Hit the bell. You can also just check out my channel. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff there. Personal reading information. Um, and super chat's open if you'd like to support me or the channel. be greatly appreciated. So we have the Princess of Summer here. So that's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or you could be meeting a fellow water sign over the summer. Somebody who's gentle, sensitive, kind, and experienced. So it could be somebody younger in a, a new relationship. So this could be some, something new coming in. And it could be around the summertime. So it could be somebody younger. Or you could be younger than them. Somebody who's very... Um, Sensitive, kind, caring, giving, um, emotional. I'm not saying like emotional in a bad way, but we'll see what we get here for you, Cancer. So what do we have for Cancer? Or this is your energy. I guess those three are yours. Let's see what we have here. Wow. So we have the Hierophant Taurus. Wow. The Emperor Aries. Two major arcana. Oh, and the Three of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, and then on the bottom of the deck, we do have Six of Cups. So this is somebody you either know already or you haven't seen them in a very long time or somebody you could have had past lives with. This could be the potential for a soulmate, lifelong partner, as you see the older couple in the background and the young couple here. And then we have Justice with the Three of Swords. So I feel like Libra energy here with the Justice card somebody uh, could have made a decision here with the two of swords to leave a situation could have been a third party situation could have been divorce here you know maybe it was bore you know it was stagnant wasn't going anywhere there was no more love you know here and someone decided maybe to walk away you know they had truth and clarity knew they needed a new beginning they saw things clearly and knew they needed to leave a situation because there was just no more love there was boredom so deciding here to leave, if it was a third party, if someone was put in a third party situation, I feel like they decided to up and leave that situation. Could have been separation, divorce, or just leaving a long-term partner with divorce here, possibly. But now moving forward with love here and emotions to somebody you've known from the past or knew you from the past, coming forward out love and emotions and feelings. Now to the Ten of Pentacles in Wish Fulfillment. Wanting wish fulfillment now with this person and the whole nine yards, the ten of cups. So you got the ten of cups, ten of pentacles. I feel like this is somebody, somebody left something that was no longer serving them. Like I said, divorce or separation or a long-term commitment. Now, yeah, wow, balance with temperance, Sag, Leo Sag, Aries, brand new beginning. Someone coming forward, offering a stable offer here, a stable offer. Passionate, fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning, divinely guided, balancing out energies. This brings the soulmates back together with temperance, Sagittarius energy to wish fulfillment. They're ten of cups, nine of ten of cups, wish fulfillment, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way and love, stability, growth, expansion with the ten of pentacles. It could be marriage here on the plate. We did see the knight of pentacles coming in with that pentacle offer, which could be marriage or commitment or something like that, confessing how they feel, coming forward, taking that action and love and emotions. And I forgot what card what card was here. Oh, the three of swords. So, and I just put that, where did I put that? Oh boy. All right, here it is. So yeah, I feel like, yep, somebody left something now coming towards you or you left something going towards somebody, either you knew from the past a long time ago it could be somebody new that you meet you feel an instant soulmate connection with because you might have had past lives with this person it's like instant movement forward here love emotions and feelings yeah so somebody here was hurt you or them but now took charge took the lead it could have been uh, you know marriage here with the hierophant so we got taurus we have aries libra gemini aquarius i mean it could be anybody but I do either feel like you'll be meeting somebody that just came out of something or you did and now you're going to meet your soulmate. And it could be uh, over the summer or could have been over the summer you met them. And now it's going to move forward. Um, could be by next summer. You're, you could be engaged. You could be committed. 
in a long-term relationship with this person. I do see it could lead to a commitment, someone taking lead, taking charge. So a lot of energy here. So I definitely feel like, okay, you or them, somebody left something that was no longer fulfilling. Could have been divorce, separation, leaving a long-term commitment. Now reuniting or coming back together with someone they know from the past. And now moving forward in that relationship, leading to commitment again with that person. But this is your true soulmate, someone you're meant to be with. And a very loving, caring, nurturing uh, connection that will lead to long-term commitment. Or you're going to meet somebody coming up like in the next year, summer season, that will be your true soulmate. And will move forward in love and commitment and stability. And somebody who won't be afraid to take lead, take charge and move it forward. So a lot of different energy there. Cancer, wow. So we have like all the signs here, so it could be anybody. But that's the energy I have for you, so I hope that made sense for you. Wow, so those were all the energies, and I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you like what you see, hit the bell, or check out my channel. Check the description box if you like a personal reading. Tons of stuff down there, and um, thank you to all who supported the channel. And if you super chatted, thank you, thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Best of luck to everyone. Sending you all the best. And I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.